Hi guys, this is Riyam Karthik, 5G from Nonsan Grammar School. Uh, my, uh, our computer teacher taught us about, uh, about an application called a Scratch. And uh, I explored a little bit more in Scratch than my teacher said. And I also developed many games in Scratch. So let me show you some of them. So let's get started. First, let me show you a demo of this game before telling you about the code. I added background noises. Well, lemonade attack. Lemonade invasion. Let me move further. So let me tell you about the code. In this code, there is a certain uh, thing. Make may go. You have to go to me, my, my blocks, and make certain blocks which help these codes. Like define move x. Now move x has a custom block called as move x and uh, circle here. Uh, now these blocks are blocks with input and you can drag the input from the block joystick x now we don't need these no so that's the reason move x has an input space but well as shoot shoot does not have an input space so this shoot block doesn't have a input holder <laughs> Now in the laser sprite, uh, first when this is clicked, it should hide because we are not shooting uh, when it directly starts, no? So we have to hide and when we click the space button or the mouse right. Uh, okay, now let me just tell you how I designed the, the sprite. So what I did is I just took a lemon, a lemon yellow color and what I did is I made a full rectangle of it. What I did is I took shift and click on this cursor. Um, this cursor and um, what I did is I click on the delete button and it deletes the sides of it. And what I did is I made the purple part and then I copied and pasted it and reduced this yellow one size and I made this spaceship like that. Now this enemy, for this enemy, what I did is I just took lemon yellow color. I just took this circle option, click on the circle option. I made a circle and dragged it to an oval and I pinched at this size, sides and I added a background. So this is how I made the sprites. And for laser nothing, what I did is I just removed the fill option and I just made the background to be yellow and I drawed a rectangle. So this is okay uh, now i'm going to tell you how i added background music to this what i did is when the green flag is clicked uh, i set the volume to the maximum and and i took a forever block from control category and then i go to i got to sound and i took this block and dimensions main theme retro uh, it's an mp3 file which i downloaded and I put this in forever as the background music. Now for the laser, as you can see, start sound laser shoot. Only when the laser is clicked. When I start as a clone, start sound laser shoot. And when does the laser start as a clone? When I uh, use the laser and attack. When I use the laser only, it starts as a clone. So then it starts a laser shoot sound. And for the enemy, I used some explosion sounds when they are destroyed see start explosion 2 for the smallest ones explosion 18 18 for the biggest one explosion 6 for the medium lemon so this is about my space shooter game and i also the backdrop i set to black and totally black and i took the uh, i took the box fill option and then i filled the whole entire background so now let me show you another game which is very fun and actually kind of casual which is my maze game. Now in this maze game when you click on the green flag it generates a new maze. 
well i use some of the pain effects and what you can do is you have to use the control keys to use this and and when this as you can see this part of the x is visible so when you reach this part of the x with the ball and touch the x it generates a new map mm. I so as you can see i gone near to the x and now i'm going to touch it and as you can see it generated a new maze and it infinitely generates mazes for us to play and when you are bored you can nicely play this game and it's very fun and the code and the code blocks which i used for this are i used some pen effects what you can do is you have to click on this option and just take pen and ready so what you should do is you should use pen for all these colors these yellow and black colors are appearing from the pen and now i'm going to show you how uh, i draw it for i drew, drew these items now custom items no costume one the each block the small edge blocks are these square blocks which is known as costume one and the second one is corridor these rectangle blocks are corridors and the detector you cannot see the detector it just detects if any part of the map is not filled by the maze then it draws a maze there without us knowing and this x as you know x marks a spot so if you touch x uh, it turns into a new maze and bounds are these are the walls and what the maze does is i made these bounds to for the maze to stay inside so if you do not draw these bounds the maze gets over controlled and draw here and there in the whole entire map so these bounds uh, control an area to for this maze to only draw in a certain place and now this is the player as usual i'm just taking a circle and i do this and i just drew this square for maintain maintaining so okay now uh, enough of maze and now i'm going to show you a very funny animation it's not a game but very funny animation untitled l this is a funny animation what yeah, well, let me just click it properly yeah okay i revealed actually reveal the secret or no whatever what you should do is you should go you should go to the sprite option and then go to fantasy and click on gobo well which i already clicked and now you should go to costumes and extend gobo's hands and make his eyes fizzy and uh, extend his mouth like nuts now um you should go to code and what you should do is when you, when click point in direction 90 90 means this normal direction means straight and uh, set size to 100 which should be uh, which is normal size and switch costume to gobo b uh, now gobo b is a normal costume so it waits 5 seconds and turns fizzy now go bobby is a good option i mean a nice costume and now go to 0x and 0y 0x and 0y means the center of the whole entire screen it means y is the middle of up and down middle y and x side middle so it is the main center of x axis and y axis y axis is vertical and x axis is horizontal okay now wait 3 seconds and broadcast super crazy because he is going to go mad <laughs> now go to backdrops and when click switch backdrop to backdrop one which is nothing but the white backdrop which you are seeing right now see uh, as you can see white backdrop and then when i receive super crazy switch backdrop to backdrop two which is the basic red now you uh, uh, and red and go click a forever block and change color effect by 6 so red blue green yellow and it keeps on turning like a disco disco okay now let's go to gobo and what you should do is when i receive block works for multiple multiple sprites not only one okay when i receive super crazy set size to 200 because he is going to become very mad 
and then switch costume to Goboe, which is the funky costume. And if forever, if on edge bounce because if he goes to a certain edge and go on round, round, okay, then then you should go to random position. Yeah, that's the reason I kept if on edge bounce because he's going to random position. If he's on edge, he bounces to the middle again and he will go round, round, round. So let me just show you a preview of it. He is acting like an innocent man and he will become mad. What you can do is you can add a funky background music to it. Uh, so see. Very innocent. Acting as innocent. As you can see this is very funny and uh, the go gobo is going moving here and there with his fuzzy eyes. And the background color is changing. What you can do is you can also add a funny slash funky background noise to make it even more funnier. So that is it for today's scratch guys. Bye bye.